Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on a Wednesday. My good friend, Christine, is in the house. How was vacation? Oh, good. So relaxing, so cold. It was beautiful. Nice to get out of town. Yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. Good. And there was lots of work to do when you got back, yes? Yes, always. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, really the downside of taking vacation, no. right? Like your house is a mess. You have to unpack, do laundry. Yeah, so I am uh, heading out of town today at one. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get on a plane and go to Seattle. And I have this thing about like my house has to be clean before I go. Oh, I get, I wish I could do that. I, yeah. If it hadn't been such a mess before we left it, and if we hadn't been gone for like an entire week, yeah. I feel like we would have cleaned before. Yeah. No, it's nice. Our offices quilters are closed Friday and Monday for the long weekend. Day, so, yes. yeah. So I took Thursday off and the rest of today. So exciting. All right, quilters, if you want a chance to see your featured project on AccuQuilt Live, you can submit a photo of your project. Um, how can they do that, Christina? They can. Yeah, so they can share it on our public Facebook wall. They can private message us and Morgan will save those photos and your info and then we'll pop them up in that video. So many ways. All right. So where is everyone watching from today? We have Leanne from Reno and Patty from Richland, Washington. I'm saying Orlando, Wisconsin. Barbara is saying, hi, Pam and Christina. Hi. Hello. I know lots of you. Okay, if you live in the south, we hope you're safe. New yes. Orleans, the hurricane was really um, tough, so we hope that you are staying safe. All right? All right, so let's take a look at some of those projects from the intro video. Okay, first up, we have this cute project by Flora called Joyful. Look at this. Oh, darling. Okay, so Christina, we were trying to decide, do you think she just applicate them? Maybe, I don't know. I'd love to know her process though. Yeah, Flora, tell us in the comment section how you made this, because she used our hexagon die. Mm -hmm. And I love the stripes in the back. Yes, I think that really just makes that red pop even more. Right, oh, it's beautiful. Next up, a project by Pam V. Oh, look, mm -hmm. we just did this um, die last week, wasn't it? it. Yeah, I love it. Um, and I bet she used, okay, did the 12 inch cube, don't you think? So she must have mm. used the Go Big version of Snail's Trail. I think so, those look the like 12 inch big cube. blocks. But do you love the colors of that? I love the rainbow. Yes. It kind of like swirls and flows really beautifully. Yeah, it's just beautiful, good job. All right, next is a project by Rebecca J. Okay, um, what is the die, do you know? Courtyard. Courtyard. Makes a 10 inch block, yay. Oh, it's so pretty. They almost look like little like candy mints. Right. From afar, they're so pretty. Yes, or poinsettias. Ooh, there we go. Right, for Christmas. I love that. All right, and finally is this lovely green yellow project. These are Pantone colors of the year. Good job, Suzanne it. MC. Okay, so Christina, do you know the die? I do, because you told me. I, I had no idea. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah, it's the Blazing Star by Eleanor Blazing Burns. Star. Star, and I think it's hard to figure out that it was blazing tar because it has sashing. Oh, that could be it. Right? Um, but gosh, is that so pretty. It's beautiful. Okay, I, I feel like I need to, when did they choose the colors? Um, oh like, gosh. Is it January? I think it like, oh, I should know. Cause I, I wait for it every, I think it's like March, February or March. So I still have a bit of time to make a Pantone yes. color of the year. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. All right, so don't forget to share your featured pr your projects with us and we'll share them on our Facebook page. Okay, so today here is the picture of the day. All right, so this is actually hands down one of my favorite top five dies. Mm -hmm. um, this is Morningstar and actually I made that quilt. Um, it's the one that we show as our example of it. Um, I made it a couple of years ago over the Thanksgiving holiday. I'm a huge modern quilter and so I love this die. Have you made this quilt yet, Christine? I have it. I've never done a morning star block yet. Oh, it's so cool. And the thing is, you just gotta lay out all the pieces because mm -hmm. they need to. Yeah, those triangles could get confusing if you don't lay them out right. <laughs> yes. For a brief moment, I thought I could just do several um, blocks at a time and the answer is really nope. no. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the question of the day is, are you a modern quilter or do you, would you rather do traditional mm. blocks? So Christina, what do you think? I think I lean a little more modern. Yeah, I think yeah. you are. I think the most traditional I'm doing is like the English paper piecing, but right. even that it's really PC or scrappy and just kind of all over the place. And how is your English paper piecing coming along? Good, on those two 18 hour drives, I think I'm up to like 130. 
done. Oh, so you could do it because yeah. you were trying to decide if you could sew in yes. the car. I was worried I'd get all car sick, but luckily I could just sit back there and just hand stitch for hours. Hand stitch for days. <laughs> okay. So in the comments section, uh, quilters, we want to know, are you a modern quilter or do you love a traditional block? Okay, we have a new face in the Dream Studio today. Let's give a warm AccuQuilt welcome to Emily. Um, Emily is here today. Hi, Emily, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great, Pam. Thanks for having me. But yes, we'll, we'll give a little clap. <laughs> we'll give a little clap. Um, now, Emily, tell us a little 30 seconds about you. Are, you're not a quilter yet, right? I am not. I'm hoping that I can, you know, through your your tutelage and wisdom, <laughs> there are good answers. I can improve my skills over time. Um, I am in the customer experience team yes. at AccuQuilt. Um, so you may have heard my voice. You may have had an email or a ticket that I may have answered for you before. Yes. Um, I'm here to help. Happy to do so. Just love being on the phones and talking to quilters all day long. So I'm just yeah. I'm just tickled to be here today. Wonderful. Well, thanks. We're glad you're here in the studio with us today. Leslie's also in the studio. She brought cupcakes. But she's hiding. Thanks, Leslie. <laughs> we appreciate that. Um, okay, so today, quilters, um, I'm going to walk back here and just show you this quilt right here hanging. This is the, I'm going to show you, we're going to use the pickle dish die, and then I'm going to show you how to make this block for this cow quilt. Christina, do you not love this? It's thing? so cute. It is so cute. I never would have thought to do that with the pickle no, dish die. No, And Emily, I think you had an idea. It looked like... I thought it looked like a shark teeth a little yeah. bit. Like oh, just those those yeah. jagged edges on the sides. Yeah. That could so be fun. So see lots of ways that you can use um, the little pickle dish die. And this uh, block is called, or this quilt is called Go Mod, like modern, Modern Moo Cow Quilt. And one of my very favorite experts, Anita Amador, uh, created the pattern. It's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com, so make sure that you download it. Now, I'm giving you a heads up. Everybody take a cleansing breath, right? Yeah. It has a paper template. Okay, right here, I'm going to show you. Okay, it has a paper template. I'm going to show you how to cut it. Don't stress. Uh, but you want to make sure that you follow the instructions. And Anita printed all the instructions on the page, okay? You want to print it out at 110%, all right? Now, to make the cow block, you need the Go Pickle Dish die, and you need a Go Big, and I'm going to show you why, because we're going to put that mat on the edge, and it's going to hang over the edge of the die board. But here's the deal. Okay, if you don't have a go big, it's okay. You can still make this block. I'm gonna show you how to just cut the paper template. Okay, all right, so you only have to make four of them. Yes, and right. definitely download that pattern. All the instructions are there. It's super simple, it'll walk you through it. Super easy, super easy to do. All right, so Christina, we have a great promo today, 25% off. Yes. Um, some exclusions apply, so mm -hmm. check out the website. Also, free shipping, yep. is this true? Yep, free shipping to the contiguous. Free standard shipping if you use that code too. That's lovely. So 25% um, off some of our cutters, dies, and die bundles. So the code is 25OFF. Yes. Okay. So if you wanted to like get started with AccuQuilt, that ready set goes on sale. Yes. How much is it 25% off, Christina? So you save $112, so it's only $337. Awesome. It has all the stuff and things you need. It has a go cutter and an eight inch cube and a two and a half inch strip die, all the mats. Yep, you just need to add fabric and you're good to go. Add fabric. That's, we should have a hashtag that. <laughs> All right, today we're gonna give away one of the Go Pickle Dish dies to one lucky viewer, so be sure and share our video in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. And also we're gonna give away, Christina, right, a second, right? Yep. Um, uh, prize to, yep. and it's our starter set, right? Yes, that rotary one. cutter and that cutting mat. Today is the last day we're giving it away, right? Yep, this we were just doing it for the summer. Yeah, we just did it for the summer. It's September now. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at our pickle dish die. First of all, it is on a 10 by 24 die board. So it's going to fit through your go and your go big and your studio cutter. Make sure you have the appropriate adapter. Uh, be sure and use that 10 by 24 cutting mat. Christina, why do they want to have the appropriate size mat? Because it just gets really wonky. Like it, if you have it too big, it kind of flops all over the place. It does. It does. Um, I'm going to show you today um, how to just use a smaller die or smaller mat on it, but for sure you want to do that. 
Now this is what we call a bob die, which is a block on board die. What does that mean, Christina, if it's a bob die? All of the shapes that you need for that block are on one single die board. Right, mm -hmm. right. It's super handy. Super handy. Um, different than the cube, right, where if you're gonna make a block, sometimes you need three or four dies. Right. Okay, yep, that's more of a mix and match, board. whereas this is more of a one size fits all. It's just all on that block. Right. And it looks super hard to make. It is not. It is really easy to piece together. So the die has screen printed letters, okay? They're gonna keep your pieces organized. And shapes E and F make the arch for the pickle dish. And D and DR are for the ends of the arch. Shape A is that center of the pickle dish, okay? And shape C is that outer arch. And shape B is gonna be the cornerstones. Now, quilters, every time on an AccuQuilt die that there is a curve, what do we always put there, Christina? What do we put on what? On curves. Oh, the notches. Notches. Notches, okay? So we have put notches on all the curves and we've also included that quarter inch seam allowance and we've given you specialized dog gears, okay? So think about if you were doing this traditional block and you had to cut out these tiny little E and F, it would just take you way too long. Oh gosh. And it would never be right. No, they'd never be the same size. They'd never line up right. No, no. All right, so this is a great die. It's gonna save time. It's gonna be accurate and it is going to cut 90% faster than rotary cutters or scissors, right? Now, the shapes on the die board are also cut, um, divided by color. So this is one color, this is one color, these are one color, okay? Depending on how you wanna put your block together, Perfect. okay? And shape E can be a variety of colors. Oh, here's our block. Christina, I love this block. I this know. This is that pennant mania one. I love right? that black and white with the colors sparkled yes. or sprinkled in there. It's all modern, right? So here's the E's. Those are the colors and F are the solid white. And then the center is the black. And I do love the little um, edges, that shape B. Okay? A great die to use for scrap busting. In fact, today um, I'm going to just totally cut with scraps. Okay? And don't forget 25% off sh and free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. Some exceptions apply. It's on some cutters, dies, and die bundles. Use that code 25 off. All right, Christina, before we start cutting and we talk about don't forget to share, what are people, are they being modern cultures or are they being traditional cultures? You know, it's such a mix. Um, I'm seeing a lot of folks that do like traditional with like their own flair. A lot of folks kind of dip their toe into the modern side. Um, but there's a great question from Laura. Okay. Uh, she says, what is the difference between modern and traditional quilting? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, so I'm part of the Omaha Modern Quilt Guild, even though I hardly ever go to meetings. Forgive me, folks. <laughs> I just love them. They're such a great people. So um, I feel like modern is more about fabric choices and color, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is a very traditional block, right? Typically, you would do it in like, spring colors or muted colors, but because I'm a modern quilter, we did total bright colors and blacks and whites and all of that contrast. Yes, I feel like there's definitely more contrast in that modern side, whereas mm -hmm. like the traditional, they tend to kind of blend a little bit better. Right, right. When I look at a quilt um, and it's not in modern colors, in my little quilting head, I think, ooh, how could I change that? <laughs> we have a great program at AccuQuilt called Go Quilts. Um, you can take all of our dyes, including our pick and stitch dye, and change up the color rate, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you could look at it, and maybe you're a traditional quilter, but you could totally change it to modern. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's just about color and um, that contrast, okay? Don't forget to share. We're going to give away a pickle dish dye and our cutting um, package to um, two lucky viewers. Yes. One gets each one of them, okay? All right, so let's lay some fabric on our dye. All right, um, so, oh, holy smokes, for just a brief moment I was nervous because I thought, <laughs> where did all my fabric go? But it's right here, okay. All right, so first of all, I downloaded the pattern, right? You wanna make sure that you do that and have that. So E is going to be, since I'm making the cow block, okay? Perfect. E is going to be all these pinks and oranges, okay? And then the F and the D and the DR are going to be white. And then B is going to just be scrappy. 
Okay. Christina, would you do it in these colors or would you do it in other colors? Oh, I don't know. I feel like this black in particular really lends itself to like Halloween for me. So I think like oranges and blacks and grays would be really pretty. Holy smokes. Did you hear that, Leslie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leslie's in the house. So the three people who love Halloween the most are right here in the dream <laughs> studio today. Oh man, Christina. I didn't even think about it for Halloween. It could be like spiky and spooky. Yes. And, or it could be like little like oh, candy corns. <gasps> they could oh be little candy gosh, corn. Oh my gosh, it could be like candy corn. Like you could sew like little strips and then make them candy corns. Right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, in my <laughs> quilting head. I'm already thinking about that. Hey, Lisa, will you send me a slack and remind me? Okay, because I'll forget by the time I'm done here today. Okay, so label's going to be at my belly. You want that lengthwise grain, right, to go back and forth across the die board. And how many layers, Emily, can we always cut? We can cut six layers. Six layers of good quilting cotton. Can we cut other fabrics? Absolutely. Like what? Uh, like felt, like uh, minky, if you, you know, if yep. that's your type. Yeah. Um, I've heard of folks using... Um, some of our dies to cut like the, I believe they cut batting, do they not? Yes, mm -hmm. you can cut batting um, all day. All sorts of things, yeah. Look you, no one's some stuff. The possibilities are endless. They are. <laughs> Start with one or two of those thicker layers, okay? Oh, Pam. What? There's a comment from Terry that says, for Halloween you could make him Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. Oh. oh. Looks like the little gray like ear thingies that stick out. Terry. <laughs> Will you just kind of tell us what you're thinking about that and in the comment section so I don't forget? <laughs> and how you, what colors you would do? Okay, so like what color would you make E and what color would you make F? Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's so many possibilities. Frankenstein. Okay, head back cow now. Okay, <laughs> so um, I am just gonna cover my little shapes here with some fabric and there we go. Okay. Now, I just totally, truly found just scraps, okay? So I'm just laying them on here. Don't forget to join Lynn and Erica and I on September 7th. We are going to launch our newest eye to try, and that day is Tuesday. Is that right, Christina? Yes, yes the 7th. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's already um, September. It is already you September, believe? and I'm going to be gone the first six days of it. So <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about that. All right. So remember, I'm going to use my Go Big today, but you could use your Go Fabric Cutter or your Go or your Studio with the appropriate adapter. And I am just going to cut these pieces, and then I'm going to show you how to lay it out and make it because the arch is really the hardest part. Mm -hmm. Okay, it truly is. All right. But luckily, Anita did a great job of writing those pattern that instruction, so it's really helpful. Yes. I think she's in our comments today, actually. Hi, Anita. We love you. Hi, Nick. <laughs> All right, so Anita, we love you. Make sure you comment. And I bet Anita would say she is truly a modern quilter. Would oh, I think say? so too. Yeah. yeah, she makes beautiful quilts. She does. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these pieces because I'm going to show, show you how to sew the arch together because that's kind of the tricky part. Mm -hmm. And then I have some blocks that I already made. Okay, so Christina, why I cut this? Are people modern or they what? What are they? Oh, it's still such a mix. Um, yeah. Let's see. Jeannie says, I've done a few modern quilts, but seriously, I'm more of a traditional um, in my block choice. Yeah. Love that. Um, let's see. There's so many. I can take off my shoes while they go big cuts. Um, Kim says, I'm a blend or I'm a blend of modern and traditional as I love aspects of both. Oh, there you go. Love that. Oh, Sarah says, I gave up quilting until AccuQuilt. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna give it some love. We're gonna slide this mat, don't lift. Boy, is it staticky and hot in here today. Holy smokes. It is, it's so staticky. It is, but it's gonna be a lovelier day today than it has been the last few days. Did you have um, damage from the storm, Christina? No, we had a couple like tiny branches. We've got a pretty dead-ish old oak tree in our backyard yeah. that needs to be trimmed. So just a couple of little branches. Okay, so look quilters, I have one little thread here. I'm not gonna pull that. Holy smokes, just wrecked the whole thing. Um, why is it that weeds do not die in the storm? Oh my gosh, we, when we got back, <laughs> literally we got back from vacation on Sunday night. Yes. And Tim was like, our yard looks terrible. I need to mow when it's like eight o'clock at night. Oh yeah. So he goes out and mows. I'm like, you're crazy. Yeah. yeah. 
We have the neighbor boy. He mows first now, yes. Tom. Oh, I should say he mowed, but it was mostly weeds. It Our lawn looks pretty sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so look what I did. Quilters, so I have some E's and F's. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to tell you, um, make a test block. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I was testing um, this die, I made a test block. It really made a difference. Yes. Okay. And here's the other pro tip. Okay. Um, you want the notches because look here, they're notches, perfect notches. Facing out. That's how you know you put the pieces the right direction. Okay. So F goes on, I got, I got to, I can't talk for a second. All right. While you do that, Terry that commented about the Frankenstein. Okay, Terry, I'm super excited about this. They said greens, blacks, purples, the ears are like the bolts in the head. Oh, sure. And maybe gray and silver for those. Sure. He needs eyebrows too. Oh, I think he does need eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Like little like lightning bolt eyebrows. And I think it would be so fun to do it just completely scrappy. Oh, like yes. Different greens, because mm -hmm. right, Frankenstein, right? Yep. Right? We, Technically we Frankenstein's that. monster. Okay, Terry, you're super smart. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube platforms, so you can come back and watch them again and read all the comments. I, do you know, I, at the end of the day, I always come back and read them. Yeah, you do. I just think it's fun to see what everybody's been doing. I okay. also always watch the shows again, which in the three years we've done this, I don't think I've ever done. Have you never watched them back? I don't want to see myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. I go home every Wednesday and then I take notes about what I, you know, could do better. Ooh, Noreen says the pickle dish reminds me of eyes. So you can make multiple colors of eyes and create like the retina and the pupil with the round eyes. Oh, sure. There we go. That's a great idea. Yeah, they kind of look like eyelashes almost. They do. Okay, so I'm taking shape, whatever this is, F and E. And I'm going to sew them together just like this. Okay, and I do love to chain piece. So I'm gonna be some chain piece. And, oh, hey, whoever turned my iron on, thank you. <laughs> I about tripped over this last week, Christina, you missed it. Oh no. Yeah, it was pretty darn exciting. <laughs> I know, it's all right though. All right, so while I'm sewing, I'm just gonna chain piece quilters. We have that perfect quarter inch seam because we have specialized dog ears. And I'm gonna, I don't know, sew six of them or something. Christina, however many there are. Um, are people modern quilters or traditional? Uh, Jeanette says, I love traditional. She's very picky about modern. Ah. Which I get. I feel like modern can kind of deviate a little quickly. Yes, and it can get overwhelming. Yes. Still right? gotta have like a flow to the eye. Right. Right. Ooh, um, someone said they think they'd use more earth tones for the cow. It's a good idea. Oh yeah. Um, Anita tells this great story about the purple cow. Yes. Did you watch that? I did. You want to tell it while I just sew? Oh gosh. Um, I believe she sends like a stuffed purple cow with her husband. Yeah, he's, he's in overseas. the military. They're mm -hmm. both active military. And whenever he was on deployment, she sent this cute little purple cow with him to keep him safe and to remind him of home. Yeah. And she just finished her purple cow version. Yes, it was so cute. So cute. Okay. Not that I was deployed or I wasn't safe, um, but when I first started um, traveling, oh, I gotta count. Here, hold on one sec. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Um, I first started traveling for AccuQuilt. Um, I went um, on my very first trip and I had my great suitcase and I opened it up and I was, you know, getting through my stuff and unpacking. And um, Oakley was tiny little. And I had, because, you know, she hangs out at our house, mm -hmm. um, I had one of her stockings oh. that was stuck to one of my, you know, pairs of pants or something, mm -hmm. you know. So forevermore, when I traveled, I was made sure I took a little sock of Oakley's. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, yeah, it was kind of fun. Okay. Um, all right. Now, hey, did you get you a clover iron? I did. Sweet. Yes. I haven't used it yet because we went out of town right away afterwards, but, Sweet. but I've got it. All these on our website. Yes, they're okay. incredible. All right. Okay. Did you see, one, how fast I cut those shapes E and F, mm -hmm. and two, how fast I sewed them together? Yes. That's because AccuQuilt is super fast when cutting, and it makes sewing so much easier because that's the part we want to do, right? We want to just sit and sew, okay? And do you know we have a blog? Emily, will you tell us about our blog? 
Yeah, absolutely. So we are going to have exclusive patterns, um, tips, tutorials, tricks that'll help you, um, you know, get the very best out of your block, um, as well as exclusive patterns, like I said, which is yes. super fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, and a lot of our uh, go-getters actually do those, right. as well as some of our AccuQuilt staff. Yes. We had one of our go-getters yesterday um, talking about scrap management. It was fabulous. And I think the AccuQuilt Live last week was all about a uh, blog or a pattern from the blog, right? Was it? Oh yeah, it was. The marble? Yeah. Yes, the marble one. Um, let's see, who was that? Uh, Amanda. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That was really fun. Ok't okay, quilters, just so you know, I've worked for AccuCode, I don't know, 100 years, and I did not know that the blog had special patterns that were only available at the blog. <laughs> Listen, sometimes I should read stuff, okay? So make sure you sign up for the blog, all right? And sign up for our event, right? Oh, yes. Because why do they want to sign up for the event, Christina? that's how you win prizes. We do. We give yes. stuff away. So if you register for those Tuesday events, we pile all those email addresses into a big random generator and pull out a name that way. Yeah, I kind of like to think it's like the little thing at the fair, right? Yep, like the big, the bingo balls. Yeah, the bingo balls. <laughs> All right, hold on. I just want it to be a little more scrappy. Okay, so I'm starting to make my arch. All right, look, here's my pretty arch. All right. Ooh, Linda I'm... says she does traditional but with a twist, always looking to do something in a different way. Oh, I love there that. There you go. There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna now, I've sewn these, I'm gonna keep sewing. All right. And because I think the arch is the hardest part. Right, and um, the arch has seven of the small or the colors and six of the white. So what I do is I sew the six together and then I add one here on the left because that's how I remember. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep sewing. Okay, Christina, tell us, are they modern? Are they, what are they doing? Oh, I think it's such a mix. Like I think we're pretty evenly split. That's good. Yes. Um, Missy says traditional quilts made modern is her specialty. Um, oh, Missy, we'd like to see some samples. Yeah, loves creating planned scrappy quilts. Right. Hey, we have that new hashtag, yes? If you want to share stuff, AccuQuilt built. Oh, yeah, AccuQuilt built. Yes. Yeah, so if you share like an unboxing or a finished project with that, then you'll get 250 rewards points. Yes, so you have to share it so that we can see it. Yep, it has um, to be public. Hashtag AccuQuilt built. Yep, you can do it on Instagram or whatever, and then you can enter once a month. I love that. Yeah, you get 250 reward points. Start the month off right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so look at what I'm doing here. I'm just making, just making arches. I feel like I should live in St. Louis. Okay. <laughs> or Moab. Oh. I love Moab. Okay. Where Arches National Park is. Ooh, there you go. We were talking about national parks, Christina. That's one I've been to is Arches. There we go. Many a time. Moab, one of my top five favorite places in the world. One, they have a Hilton so you don't have to camp. <laughs> Trust me, after camping in a tent for a week, I understand. Okay, when you posted that, I was like, Christina, there, that is not a Hilton. Uh, nope, it sure isn't. Sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> nope, it rained, it was below freezing, it was... Okay, we're going to have two together, I don't care. Oof. It was cold. Yes, it was like 32, 34 degrees. You are, a good, you are a good sport because you went on vacation no. and camp. Listen, Tim loves it, and I'm just trying you to... You love Tim, so I, I guess that's what happens, right? Trying to be a good partner. There you go. But the last two nights, we did sleep in his parents' camper, so... Oh, his parents went in the camper, uh -huh. and you didn't stay there? Uh-huh. Oh, my Don't worry, we had words Lord. about it. It's fine. Yeah, I'd have been cranky about that, no. so it's a good thing I didn't go. No, I saw that, and your tent looked so cute. It was just all perfect. So tiny. Okay, here we go. Um, there is a question from Joyce. Hi, Joyce. She says, I have trouble with the clover iron getting gunk on it unless I use wax paper between the iron and the fabric. Do you have any advice for her? Getting gunk? Yeah. Mine has no gunk. I think maybe it's too hot. Oh, maybe. Are you, oh, here's my question. Are you spraying your fabric? Oh, that could be it. Right? If you're using, like, um, Best Press, mm -hmm. which, by the way, I love the smell of. Yes. I never hardly ever use it, but yeah. It so good. So if you're using like something like that, 
right? Or I think if your cotton has like a coating on it maybe or mm. something, if it's not 100% cotton, that might be an yep. issue. Yep. Okay, and then I would give this a really good press. So I have to add one here. Speaking of, Robin wants to know if you're pressing open or to the dark side. Okay, I'm pressing towards to the dark side. Okay. I'm pressing one direction. Here's why. I've made 87 of these blocks. <laughs> It's true. Exactly 87. Exactly 87. <laughs> okay, at our house, I know you find this hard to believe, but people exaggerate no the way. amount of things. And um, a bazillion is more than three. <laughs> okay, at our house. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six here. So I'm going to add the seventh. Okay, so it works. All right. And then we're going to show you how to. Um, Add the D in the DR. Um, but in our house also, and my dad is the worst about this, we say, the other day. So like he'll say to me, you know, the other day when I was in India, okay, he was in India 48 years ago. Wow. Okay? The other day when I was in India. The other day. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's just really irrelevant. But my brothers say it all the time, too. They're, oh, the other day. Like, we were seven when that happened. Okay. Ooh, Cindy says Moab has great zip lines. Moab has great lots of things. Okay, so look at this. All right, so this is the arch that you're going to create. And now we're going to add D and DR to it. Okay, now, I want to show you this because this is somewhat tricky. All right? Now, we have specialized dog ears. So in your quilting head, you're gonna think, I should put straight sides together. Look what happens when you do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna take and you wanna line up where the curves are right here. So it's gonna go like this. And in your quilting head, you're gonna think that's wrong, but it is not. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just for fun, I'm just gonna pin it because I'm gonna do one side and then do the other. So again, here you go, okay? All right, and I'll pin this little one here. All right, Christina Wise, so tell us, quilters, are they modern? I'm super excited about Frankenstein. Yes. Whoever told us about That'll that. That'll be so pretty. I know. Halloween just is around the corner. <laughs> We're having a whole Halloween show on a Tuesday. Ooh, there we go. I feel like it's going to be my favorite show ever at AccuQuilt. Mm -hmm. um, Annette says, I guess I like modern. I love adding bright colors. Okay, and Annette, that's not pattern. really. <laughs> she likes what? To add what? Um, she likes changing up the pattern with like bright colors. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you need to, you don't need to subscribe to one lane. No, like, and I don't both. think, I think that that's really important, Christina, because like when I started, I loved like those homespun colors mm -hmm. and, you know, I just really like neutral colors and it hasn't been until the last probably 10 years Yeah. that I thought, oh, I should be a modern quilter. Yeah, your tastes change, your abilities change too, so yep. yeah. Yep. Okay, so now I'm just pressing this. Okay, and I have found it just lays flat. It just wants to go a certain way. Okay, all right, ta-da. All right, now, when you sew this together for the cow, and we're gonna talk about this just next, okay? Well, in the regular block, let's show the regular block. It's okay, I got you right here. So in the regular block, here's our arch. Then we're going to sew the outer arch, mm -hmm. which is shape C. Then we're going to sew this to the, uh, then we're going to sew, that's one piece. Okay? And then the next one, we're going to do that shape B to this. Okay? And, oh, sorry. Here. <laughs> I have to think about it. So here's the arch. Sew the outer arch, sew the inner arch, the mouth. Okay, then, that's one piece. Then, sew the arch, sew the outer arch. Always sew the outer arch first because shape B will not fit otherwise. Right. And then sew the two of them together. Some of you might think that you have to sew Y seams. 
None Y seams. None Y. None Y seams. Okay, today only our promo is 25% off cutters, dies, and bundles. Use that code 25 off OFF. Don't forget today we're going to share. So we're going to give away one of our pickle dish dies and another one gets our cutting package. Mm -hmm. So be sure to share on your Facebook, personal Facebook page for the chance to win. Yes. And if you want to get like stocked up before our next AccuQuilt Live, we're yes. doing the log cabin next week. So that one's on sale today too. So if you wanted to sew along with us, that'd be perfect. Yes. Log cabin, my number one scrap busting die. Only $89 today. $89. And free shipping. And free shipping to you, those of you in the contiguous US. All right, Mr. Brock, can we go down there, sir? Uh, all right. So that's how you create the pickle dish block. Now, let's talk about a cow, okay? <laughs> so before we do, join Lynn and Eric and I Tuesday, September 7th. Do you know what the new die is? I do. It's super cute. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I've made quite a few. It's our newest die to try. Um, why do they want to register? Because that's how you win. That's how we pick our winners, all those registrants. All the registrants. Okay, so make sure you register to win. I'm really excited about that die. Okay, now I'm going to move all my stuff out of the way. Okay, look at this cute pickle dish and the ornament. Yes. I love it. Okay. And that pickle dish super isn't super hard. Like I know it looks a little challenging. Some folks are saying it looks a little confusing in the comments, but that's where that test block comes in. Like give it a try, see what you can yep. do before you start cutting the fabric you love. It really, if you follow those directions and really keep your pieces organized, it's a piece of cake. Yes. Okay, so this is my die. See, color, here's the rule. <laughs> you can mark on your die. There is no die police. No one's gonna come to your house and say, Christina, have you been marking on your die? How dare you? How dare you, okay? <laughs> so to make the cow block, you need this paper template that the lovely Anita made. Hold on here, I have pins. There we go. Okay, so it's, this is to mark your die. It is not to cut with, right? Mm -hmm. You just want to mark your die. All right. So what you're going to do is cut it out 110%, okay? And we're just going to cut all of the notches out, okay? You can see that mine was pretty good. I tried really hard, okay? Then you want to take a ruler and a Sharpie because it's my die. I can do it. Okay, and Anita gives you this really great thing. She tells you to pin it right here. And again, this is all in those instructions too, so. Yeah, and when was the show? Oh, what did we say? Leslie knew. So the 17th of August? Yeah, so if you wanna know, if you wanna watch the master do it, mm -hmm. wanna watch Anita, just go to September 17th or AccuQuote Live. It's all the August. Yeah, it's September just yes. now. All those videos live on our page, so you can always go rewatch them. This one you can come rewatch again all the time. Yep. Okay, so look, I'm gonna take my Sharpie, I've already done it, and I'm gonna mark right here off the edge. Okay? All right. Then I'm gonna take my pins out and take my notch. Okay? Then what we're gonna do is from this notch, we want to go two and three quarter inches from the center of the first notch. This is said first notch, okay? And you're just gonna mark it right here. You just take your little Sharpie and mark it. And then you're gonna do the same here. Two and three quarters, mark it, okay? And then from that, you're gonna just create a little, um, half square, okay? All right. Now, the reason that you're gonna do that is then you're gonna take your block that you've cut, and it's like nine and a half by nine and a half, or. Oh, well, I'm gonna do that. Because I think I, we have, oh gosh, we have a rotary cutter and a ruler and everything. <laughs> okay, hold on here. I only, I didn't sub cut it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. 
just gonna cut it nine, I think it's nine by nine and a half inches, okay? It's the only time I'll let you use a rotary cutter, holy smokes. Okay. Ooh, Jenny wants to know, will the marker come off or do you just leave it on the die? I just leave it on the die forever and ever. Yep. Yep, because um, you might want to let it dry. Yeah. Because it will mess your fabric, right? Okay. All right, so I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to line this up, okay? Now, this is why you need to go big to make your, um, I almost put it on the wrong side, um, make your uh, cow, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. Now, why, what is it going to cut, Christina? Only where there's a mat. Only where there's a mat and fabric. So right here, it's going to cut it, right? And she gave us a little fudge room. So if you didn't cut your rectangle perfect, you can. Okay? Look at this. All right? So now, hey, Anita, if you're in the comments section, if they don't have a go big, can they just line this template up somehow? Will you tell us? Thank you. Because then that you can just, I bet you could right here. Yeah, and then you could just um, pin it and then just cut the edges off. Because you need it this big so it makes the block the right size. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, take your pins out before you run it through the go big. <laughs> All right, Christina, while I'm running it through the go big, tell us if people are uh, modern quilters or traditional quilters. You know, we've actually got a really great question from Deborah. Okay, Deborah. She was sewing together this block and said everything went together beautifully until she sewed that last arch. Um, can you give more instruction on that? The block became kind of ruffled and not squared up. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> okay, in your quilting head, you are gonna think that this is how it should be squared up, but really, truly, it sits at an angle, okay? If you don't sew the outer arch to the center arch first, it will never work, never ever. And I pressed away. The pressing kind of does matter, mm -hmm. okay? And then add the little center pickle dish and then create this, and then you're gonna line up all the notches right here and sew it together. So I'm gonna tell you that before I went on to every step, I gave it a really good press. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's a great question. But in my quilting head, I thought it should be more like this or something. But actually, the block is supposed to sit just like that. Ooh, Anita replied. She is in our comments. Hi, Anita. She what did says, she say? If you don't have a go big, use the template, but make sure to use your ruler to make the two and three quarters inch from the first and last notch. Oh, see? Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put my mat on here and run it through my go big. All right. And remember, it's only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. I was a little scared when I made the first one of these. Yeah, I, there's some folks that are saying it looks I pretty just complicated. Thought, oh, man. I hope this works. Okay, so look right here. So now I'm going to take my little scissors which I have, oh, right here, okay? And see, look, I'm gonna just come right here from the edge of that notch and go right there. Oh, it's brilliant. Anita was just absolutely brilliant to figure <laughs> this out because I and my quilting head could not have done that, okay? Okay, all right, so now look, here's just the notched section, all right? I've already made one look. Makes me so happy. Okay, so I've already made one that I'm going to attach. All right, and I'm just going to show you how it comes together because look at this block. Isn't he so cute? It's so pretty. So, Someone said earlier it looks like a sunrise. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. Okay, so I'm going to come here and I truly did pin. Oh man, did I pin. <laughs> because you just want it to be straight, okay? All right. And this was, like I say, boy, make a little test block there. Or a warehouse team is gonna come storming right in here to the Dream Studio, I care about that. <laughs> they are working so hard these days, holy smokes. 
Okay. All right, so I'm just going to pin it here and then keep coming down. And Brock, can you go down just a minute for us? Thank you, sweetie. All right, thank you. All right, so don't forget to share because in a minute, Christine is going to announce the winner of our um, prizes yes. today. So many prizes. Okay. I was just super excited to have cupcakes. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> Leslie was all over that, man. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here at the edge. And there is a little wiggle room because um, the lovely Anita realizes that sometimes you just need to be able to trim it. Okay, so I'm gonna go slow. This is not, this is not a race. This is not a sprint. This no, is take a marathon. Your time. Hold on here. Hey, Three. do you know we have a pin cushion die? We do. Have you made that, Leslie? I, oh, sorry, there's too or many of us I mean, to talk to. Christina. I haven't, no. No, because you gave me a pin cushion. I did. <laughs> I did. When you first got your new little cute house. Yeah. There's a tradition for that. There is, yes. Yeah. Which I didn't know. I didn't know that until you told me. Okay. I only know because somebody did that for me, which I thought <laughs> was super fun. That's why you have traditions, right? You pass them on down. Okay, so quilters, I'm just lining up those notches. Man, I am taking it slow. Okay. Pretty soon, Christina, I'm going to have to wear my socks. <laughs> it's going to be cold in here. Video. Today, I'm just barefoot. Oh, I like this comment. Pam says, I like traditional blocks with modern settings, like asymmetrical negative space. Oh, that's a great description. Yes, Good job. Love that. Yeah. I do as well. I don't know, sometimes I'll look at a um, traditional block and I'll love it, you know? Like double wedding ring, I feel like you should just do in bridal colors, you know, mm. it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be all wonky like, like I would like it to be. Okay. Oakley's getting a cow quote, could you tell? Because I've made so many of these blocks for our little, <laughs> our little test. Okay, and you also need the setting triangles, right, to make this, Christina, isn't that true? Yes. Okay, so, so what size setting triangles would our quilters get? 10. 10 inch Ten. setting triangles, that's correct. Um, they are not on sale today, but it's okay. Oh, Pam, quite a few people are asking about the pincushion tradition. Oh. They must have missed that episode. They must have missed that, where have you been? Um, so there's this great tradition um, back in the day when um, newlyweds or new people moved into their new house, their very first house, um, they would give them baskets of tomatoes mm -hmm. and, you know, just as a little housewarming gift. Well, tomatoes, you know, aren't fresh all the time. And so eventually, Sowis made those little uh, tomato pin cushions that you have, and that became the traditional gift of when people moved into a new home, you would give them tomato pin cushions. So I gave Christina, when she moved in, she and Tim moved into their new house, yes. a little pin cushion. Always been there for my big life events. <laughs> you made me cry that day. I know, that was so fun. <laughs> I loved that. Okay, so look, so now I can trim it down because it's what going to make a what size block? 10 inch. 10 inch finished block. So look at this. Confidently new at that time. Look at you knowing those kind of things. <laughs> All right, so ta-da, that is. And like I say, boy, quilters, you can go back and watch Anita talk about this block and how she created it um, back on our AccuQuilt Live, okay? All right, Christina, any other questions before we say farewell to the pickle dish die? Oh, I don't think so. Okay, and did we decide that most people were, it was pretty much half and half? It's yeah. split. I don't think I could have tallied them up if I tried. It's no. pretty much split down the middle. Yeah, and I kind of feel like that's kind of a cool thing because yeah. I learned lots of things from traditional quilters, mm -hmm. and I'd like to think that Sometimes people learn things from me as a modern quilter, but totally I'm making Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> on my way, on my flight to Seattle today, um, I have my little paper and I'm gonna be working on that, so. All right, Christina, do we have a winner? We do. All right, you ready? We have two of them, right? Yes. Okay, right, so, so first. The winner of the pickle dish die, drum roll please, is Anne McCavron. Anne, congratulations, you're gonna love it. All right, and the winner of the basic cutting set, the last one that we're gonna do. For the summer of 2021. Is, drum roll, uh, Denise Hart. Help. Denise, congratulations. Thanks so much for joining us today. 
All right, next Wednesday, 12 noon Central Time, AccuQuilt Live, we are going to use my all-time favorite die. It is the all-time favorite scrap busting die. It's the log cabin die. How much is it today, Christina? 89 and some change? Correct, yep, 89. $89 and get one because we need it. <laughs> we need it for next week, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna cry because Christina is my great friend. Um, this is Christina's last AccuQuilt Live. So she and I were kind of reminiscing the other day about the fact that three years ago, right? We've no. been here three years. Um, three years ago, somebody in our marketing team gave us the charge to go and do an AccuQuilt Live. Yep. So we didn't have a script. Nope. We didn't have fancy cameras and great lighting and a producer and a show flow. Um, it was just me talking about a die. With a laptop and your head looked all like cone shaped and weird because we didn't have it good was lighting. and so bad. It was so bad. And then finally we got a cameraman, right? Yep. Uh, Corey kind of started that and then Joe Ray joined our team and then Chelsea joined our team. And now it is what it is today. We have an exciting staff. So Christina is leaving us today. She is headed to a new job mm -hmm. and she is gonna be absolutely fantastic because she's such a great person in all the things that she does. So we are gonna say goodbye to Christina today. That's why Leslie brought cupcakes. <laughs> it was a bittersweet thing. <laughs> Cakes, there's wine, there's everything. It's yes, all the, all the stuff and things. And Emily is gonna be our new co-host yes. starting next week. So um, we're excited to have her part of the team. Yes. I have all the confidence. Emily is so bubbly and she's gonna do great. You guys are gonna she's have gonna a blessed time. And the great thing is Christina and I are really friends in real life. <laughs> so I don't care where she works. I mean, I'm still going to keep in contact with her. Um, but I will miss having you here with me in the studio. Likewise. So thank you for all of that. Thank you. All right. So in our studio today, we'd like to give a huge shout out to Nick, who came downstairs and then left. <laughs> There was some weird sound happening, so we came down to check it out. I don't oh, know. Oh, good. I'm glad he was chaos here. chaos, as always. Leslie's here in the Dream Studio with us. We have Greg and Brock and Justin and Joe. Um, and welcome to Emily. Offsite, we have Morgan. She's helping with the comments section. And my good friend, Christina. I am Pam Heller, reminding you that at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.